Now, matrices are a lot like numbers, and like numbers, they can surprise you. Here's a simple example of a surprising matrix. This matrix, let's call him J, is a 2 by 2 matrix friend of mine with entries 0, negative 1, 1, 0. Now, what's special about J is revealed under matrix multiplication. If I take another copy of J and multiply them together, I'm going to get a 2 by 2 matrix. And you can check that the results are negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Now, have we seen that matrix before? Well, uh, almost. It's almost the identity matrix, but it's multiplied by negative 1. So j squared could be said to be minus i, the 2 by 2 identity matrix. Now, if we multiply by j again, then one can check that the result is 0, 1, negative 1, 0. Now, this, too, is not quite what we started with. It's, it's just like j, but with a minus sign in front of it. So you could say that j cubed equals minus j. That kind of makes sense. If j squared is kind of like minus 1, minus the identity, j cubed is minus j. And let's keep going uh, one more time. If I have a fourth j, if I multiply by j again, then I get the straight up identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 as a result. That is j squared equals i. And that really makes sense since j squared is minus i, j to the fourth is j squared times j squared. Yeah, good, I get that. Now, what's interesting about this is that you've seen this pattern before. If you think about it, the idea that j squared equals minus i and the identity matrix is kind of like the number one in matrix algebra, then you can say that j is like the square root of minus i. j is like the matrix version of the square root of negative one that is the complex number i. And this analogy pushes even further in that if you take any complex number, a number of the form a plus bi, so real part a, complex part b, then you can represent this as the 2 by 2 matrix a, negative b, b, a. That is a times i, the identity, plus b times j, this 2 by 2 matrix. That is a really cool representation of complex arithmetic, and that's just a great example of matrix algebra in action.